always sleep so well here. So, so last night was, was no exception? Oh, yes, it was rather exceptional in a number of ways. I'm very glad to hear that. <laughs> I'll make some coffee. Mm, okay. If I can just find the coffee pot. Here it is. Yep. You see, now what would I do without you? How can you remember stuff like that? Children. <laughs> On second thought, mm. I'm really not ready for coffee after all. Oh, yes? What are you ready for? As though I didn't. No. Mm. <laughs> You're in a good mood this morning. Maybe I should propose more often. Mm -hmm. Only one problem with that, though. Didn't get an answer. Or did I? The table on the table where on the table well, it's no wonder you guys can't find look, anything look at this are you talking or are you looking hey i can do both well, i, don't I know. can't hmm. <sighs> what are you doing i'm trying to visualize where cast left that file so don't interrupt okay <laughs> are you sure that it was here and not at the office he was talking about Oh, he couldn't have meant at the office, because I can never look here and there, not before court convenes. I, Cass wants me sitting right next to him when they finish selecting the jury. Why? So you can tell him who's giving off bad vibes? Yeah, now, are you looking? I'm looking, I'm looking. What's this? Oh. Are these the keys? Are these the keys to that studio you were talking about, the video studio? Yeah, we're holding on to them until we hear from Jake's uncle. Oh, how come? Because we might need his uh, okay before they auction off all of his stuff. Yeah. Sounds like the guy's dead already. Yeah, well, he, we don't know how long he's going to be in that coma, and uh, he's out of money. This doesn't sound fair. There's got to be a better way for the poor guy. Yeah, I know. Hmm. Is this what you're looking for? Yes. No, it's funny. I didn't visualize it there, but thank you very much. Mm. Look, mm. I have to go. It's okay. You think positive thoughts today, okay? Oh, I will. Don't worry. Round. It should fit. How does that boy do it? Bridget, these earrings are Marley, don't you think? Victoria, do you really want to know what I think? Only about the earrings. At least I know Mom gave these to Marley. I don't need any more jewelry surprises. You have enough to worry about. <sighs> don't start, Bridget. Look, your mom and dad are finally getting suspicious. Especially your dad. I know. That's why you have to keep them away from me. Oh, come on now. I'm only your Scottish nanny. I'm not 007. Bridget, you're better than you think you are. Besides, it won't be for much longer. Have you heard from Marley? Hmm? No, not yet. What about Jamie? No. Well, what does that mean? It means that I am going to court today as Marley. Or everything I've done so far will have been wasted. Now, Bridget, you said you were going to stand by me. Child, I am afraid for you. Well, keep it to yourself or you're going to blow my cover. Hello? Jamie, is that you? It's me. I found her, Vicky. What? You, you found Marley? Yes. Oh, this is the best news. Um, how, how is she? Is she all right? Yes, she's fine. Oh. Well, where are you? When are you going to bring her back? Jamie! No, it's not you. It's me. I can't... I can't concentrate. Really? I heard you were an A student. Oh, you must have been really impressed. I was. What's bugging you? If it's not in a book, I don't know anything about it. There's nothing wrong with an education. All I do is study. <laughs> Look at Josie and Ruben. They're out in L.A. They're working towards their careers, taking risks facing real life. Hollywood is not exactly real life. You know what I mean. They know what they want to do. 
My friends know what they want to do. They're sending applications for master programs, med school, law school. You're not? How can I? I don't, I don't know what I want to be when I grow up, and I'm running out of time. Well, you could always work at Cory. Oh, no. No, I want to do something on my own. Well, what interests you the most? I don't know. That's the bonus question. I don't have an answer. I know one thing, though. I cannot sit around here forever and think about it, figure it out. What are you talking about? Are you planning on moving out or something? I don't know. I might not be the only one. What do you mean? I mean, Jamie came back here to be with Mom after Mac died. So did Amanda. So? So he'll probably get married again. So will Amanda, and then they'll be gone. Well, not me. Not even for the guy who kept you out all night, Christmas Eve? How do you know about that? There are no secrets in this house. That's another problem. Well, I'm not going anywhere. Well, you might be the only one. Are your mother's planning on moving up, too? <laughs> well, she and Ken are getting pretty serious. And living in this house, I don't think that's exactly Ken's style. Well, that's just great. That's just great. I finally find my family and have a home. And I don't want anything to change. Things change, whether we want them to or not. I guess I'm living proof of that, huh? Whatever happens, wherever we live or end up, you're part of the family now. I hope so. I'll get it. Hello? Paulina. Hey, I was hoping I'd catch you in. It's the man of your dreams. Hi, Dean. Yeah, listen, grab Matt, grab a limo, and meet me in front of Cass and Frankie's house right now. Why? I have just come with the most incredible, insanely brilliant plan of my entire life, and I'm letting the two of you get in on it. And it's a one-time offer, if you act now. Well, if you don't remember an answer, maybe it's because I don't remember a proposal. You don't? No. Not a down-on-one-knee, will you marry me kind of? Ah, no, well, no, it wasn't that. See? No, but I know you. See, you'd turn me down flat if I pressured you like that. Would I? Rachel, this, this is an I love you, I want to plan a future with you proposal. What's the difference? This way, you've got a chance to, to get used to the idea that life with me will be nothing like life with Mac. Is that what you think I want? I just want to get this on the record. I'll probably never be wealthy. I will surely never be a pillar of the community. Wait a minute. I'm not looking for another Matt Corey. There isn't one. Any more than there's another Maria. Or another you. So let me get this out, okay? Sorry. I'm not even sure that I can handle living in your house. I mean, I've never camped in one place for a year, voluntarily, until now. So, where does that leave us? It means we both have a lot to work out before either of us is ready to walk down the aisle. Boy, you can really sweep a girl off her feet. I want both your feet firmly planted on the ground when you give me your answer. You've no, got to know what you're getting into. You're a real romantic. Have I blown it already? Depends on what you want. Whether you want to talk me out of this or talk me into it. Maybe I should start over. Why don't you just tell me about the ring? The ring is my way of saying that I love you, that I'm not going anywhere, and that someday I would very much like for you to be my wife. So what do you say? Will you wear it? Everyone in Marquesa lied to me. I showed her picture all over town, and no one would admit to me that they had seen her. If I hadn't heard the church bells on Christmas, and if I hadn't gone into the church, I never would have found her. W was she happy to see you? Not at first. You didn't buy that, did you? No. Vicki, she's refusing to come home. What? Jamie, she doesn't have a choice. She thinks she does.
I tried. Vicky, she wants you to tell Cass that she's left the country for good. Well, she can just forget about it. I am going into that court today as Marley, and I will be there every day as Marley until this trial is over. You'll never pull it off. Yes, I will. Vicky, what if they call you to testify? You can't be Vicky and Marley in the same court at the same time. Jamie, that isn't going to happen. You'll go to jail. Fine, then I'll do that. I will be Marley all the way to the slammer if I have to be. You just may have to go as yourself if the DA catches on. J Jamie, does Marley know I'm doing this? Yes, I told her when I tried to convince her to come home. What did she say? She wants me to make you give it up. Let me talk to her. She's still sleeping. I don't give a damn if she... Oh, they're trying. Should I get the door? Not, not, not yet. Jamie, listen to me. I've got to go. Marley won't be able to handle this without her family. She is not going to be able to do this alone. Vicky, she's not alone. She hasn't convinced you to be a fugitive with her, has she? Jamie, what about Stephen? Jamie! Oh... Oh, my God. What happened? She, um, I, I got caught, caught, caught off with him. Well, what about Marley? Oh, uh, she, she's refusing to come home. Oh, my dear. Just get oh. the door, Bridget. Get the door. Oh, yes, all right. All right. Oh, come in, Ryan. Oh, Marley. Hi. I was sure I heard Vicky's voice outside. I don't understand it. dreaming oh i was i i dreamt that you flew here but we weren't here in marquesa we were in nice i felt that dream myself you're real aren't you last time i checked <laughs> come here let me check, let me check. <sighs> oh yes you're very real and i'm not going anywhere without you not even in my dreams Around noon. No, it's noon. How could you let me sleep until you noon? needed it? Well, what, what have you done all morning? A lot of things, including calling Vicky. Did you tell her what I, I told you to? She won't give up, Marley. She's on her way to court right now, pretending to be. That is insane. She cannot bluff her way through the trial. You try telling her that. Jamie, I can't go back. You can't make Vicky stop pretending to be you, either. Why didn't she just leave this alone? This was my decision. It's still your decision. What are you gonna do? I know I heard Vicky. Oh, be because of the yelling? Oh, well, now Marley is very upset. I, there are so many reporters outside. You saw them, and, and I keep getting calls. It's just kind of hard to stand. And she on. has to be in the courtroom in less than an hour. Now, come on, do you mind? Leave her alone so she can get dressed in peace. I didn't make... didn't mean to make things worse. I just need to talk to Vicky. Why? Well, I'm going off duty, and I want to talk to her before I crash. I'm worried about her. Oh. Uh, well, she took Stephen to the doctor's. Oh, is he okay? Yes, he's, he's fine. It's just a routine checkup. Oh, okay. Just tell her that I was here, okay? I will. Uh, good luck today. Uh, Ryan, um, you know, Victoria did hear, hear you on the, the police scanner last night, and she was very pleased. That's good. At least I know one way to reach her. Ryan, no matter how crazy things get with the trial vicky cares about you remember that well if we can get through this we can get through anything right oh i agree uh. oh victoria if you let that young man get away 
You are crazy. This is what you want to show us? Yes, this is great. Nobody's home. Of course nobody's home. Jake's in the hospital. Listen, I think the cops left everything the way it was when Jake was shot. Wow, this is such a great setup. Can we get out of here, please? This place is even better than I don't imagined. Don't go in there, Dean. Listen, Dean, I don't think we should be here. There's a police line Would here. you guys chill out, please? The cops' investigation is over. And Cass told me they're auctioning off all this stuff and the place is going on the market. Is Jake's in a coma? What, can they do that? Well, I don't know. He's in debt or something, okay? And, and that is where we take over. We? We? Yeah, yeah. We open our own recording studio. Okay, we start off small, let the business grow. Meanwhile, I'll work on my demo. A music studio? Yeah, it'll be perfect. It'll be perfect. We can even get a little bit of uh, a press from the whole trial thing. You're kidding, right? No, no. Uh, we'll call it the shootout. No, or, or a one-shot studio or something like that. As long as the people know that, that Jake was gone down here and that, you know, I, I don't know, we'll work with it. That's disgusting. Well, it may not be pretty, honey, but, you know, the people will remember us. That's important. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa. What's all this us and we stuff? What? I need associates. I need associates. You want me to be your partner? Well, you would be perfect, man. You'd be perfect, and so would Paulina. Why? Because you need money? Associates with cash would be a definite plus, yes. Oh, and you thought of us. Well, listen, I have heard, like, three bars of maybe one of your songs. Oh, I've taken care of that. I've taken care of that. I've got free sample. I said don't go in there. Why not? Because that's where Jake was shot. How do you know? You're a difficult man to figure out. I hope that's good. Just a while ago, you were trying to walk out of my life. Trying is the operative word. You notice I'm still here. What changed your mind? You did. Being with you, I realized that loving someone is making a choice. I mean, part of it, sure, you, you can't help it. It overtakes you. But you can fight it, or you can go with it. And you were fighting it? But then I realized I couldn't stop thinking about you. I couldn't, I couldn't stop making plans that, that, that are things I wanted to share with you, like my life. Pretty scary for a confirmed loner. Very scary. And then I thought, well, what's so wrong with being scared? Some of my best memories were when I was scared stiff. I mean, I'm supposed to be a, an adventurer, right? I'd like you to wear this. I will wear it. As a token of the adventure we've started. I couldn't have said it better myself. These days, when we're both ready, I'm gonna move that to the other hand. I know this was the spot because I... I heard it on the news, all right? Oh, right by this console? Ew, what did they... What did they do? Shoot him in the back? From what I hear, it was through the chest. You seem to know a lot about this, Pauline. Matthew, I worked with him, all right? Right here. Dean, I think we should clear out of here. Pauline is getting a little upset. I just want to play the tape. Can we not do that someplace else? Well, why not? We're here already, right? It's not like this guy Jake's going to mind or anything. <laughs> Plus, where are you going to find sound equipment like this, huh? You wrote this? practice on the synthesizer that Cass and Frankie bought me for Christmas. Sounds pretty sad. What are the lyrics? I was trying to get the feeling of someone who was used and I know, thrown away. Some pretty heavy stuff, man. Sometimes life is full of love gone wrong. <laughs> Lovers who betray you. 
that was ever been dumped on? I don't understand. You did buy a ring today, didn't you? For Marley. I bought the ring for Marley. Jake. Didn't you tell me that you had broken up with Marla and it was all over and that she was going away? I lied. <laughs> so what kept you? Uh, you sound worried. Well, I'm not crazy with the way jury selection is going. Why? Well, for one thing, I didn't get as much feedback out of Marley as I had hoped. Nothing, huh? She's just sitting there dying for the judge to call for a recess so she can go rushing out. I mean, the jury is going to read her as indifferent, blasé. Or guilty. You got it. Would you do something for me? Sure. Watch the jury watching Marley. Tell me what you think. OK. Just don't ask me to explain anything. It might not make any sense. Hey, right now, I'm ready to put intuition above intellect. OK, listen, I'm going to go sit down and soak up the atmosphere, get myself centered, and I'll see you in there, OK? Do it, baby. I'm counting on you. OK. Thanks for this. Yes. Oh, good. Hi. Hi. I'm glad you got here early. How are you feeling? I'm OK. I'm better. Good. There are some things that uh, we have to go over. Uh, first of all, this could be the final day of choosing the jury. Which means the trial is going to start. Which also means that this is our last chance to change your plea to self-defense. I won't do that, Cass. I didn't shoot him. <sighs> OK. Then we have to talk. About what? If I have to, I think you should let me put you on the stand. Why? So that. You can testify to the fact that Jake raped you. What? Now, I know how hard that is for you to face. That's why you haven't told anybody that that's what really happened. Yes. And I also know that testifying about it would be enormously difficult. It would be impossible. But I have seen Morgan's case. She's going to make a big thing about the fact that you and Jake struggled. Now, if you testified that you were trying to stop him from raping you and that that attempt failed, then the case would be blown. See. Will you do it? I don't know. Marley, are you all right? No, I'm not all right. Marley? Jumpy. Yeah, shut up, Dean. Are you okay? Yeah, I guess so. It sounded like a gun. Then would you yeah, sit down here for a minute? No, I'm not ready. I'm really okay. I'm sorry. I, I forgot you had a thing for Jake. I think we have been here long enough. Yeah, I know I have. I'm getting out of here. Well, when are you gonna we'll do it later. My story. Huh? Let me take you home. No, I'll, I'll, I'll grab a cab. Listen, and... what about tonight? I'll call you tonight. Dean, we'll would you shut up? Some guy was shot here, and all you think about is your music. Matt, I'm going to grab a cab, OK? I'll no, see no, you. no, no, no. You stay here. I'll grab a cab, and I'll be right back. I'm sorry I was such a clod. Why do you write music like that, anyway? Is it a little close to home? You like making people upset or something? Paulina, I, I just asked you to listen to it. I didn't ask you to like it. I'm sorry, Dean. You know I love your music. You don't really think life is as sad as the song says, though, do you? I'm not into romance and happy endings and fairy tales and all that kind of garbage. It's not garbage. Well, it is to me. It is, OK? Hey, what happened? I, th I thought that you're a quarry. Nothing shakes you up. It's just being here. It just reminded me of Jake, and I I'd rather not think about him. I really did a number on your head, I think. You know, I had a feeling all along that he didn't really care about me. But he kept telling me I was wrong. And of course, you never want to believe things like that. That really stinks. Yeah. He was planning on marrying Marley all along. Just to feel like a, a dunce. So <laughs> I mean, you shouldn't. Oh, you must know all about that, huh? Well, me? No, I, I, I don't know. I don't well, know you can't you... write music like that without experiencing some no. kind of heartbreak. No, 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 no. I, I don't know. 
Oh, yeah, you've never been hurt by a woman, right? Well, I, I just don't let them, you know, get that close to me so they could hurt me. Then how do you do that? It's kind of simple. I, I've just been stomped on enough by life. Mm, it's so good to hold you. Don't let me go. I don't plan to. Jamie, leaving you and coming here was the hardest decision I ever had to make. I left you in that restaurant thinking that I was never going to see you again. Did you think I'd really let you walk out of my life? I was just thinking of the pain I was going to cause you if I stayed. Really? Do you know how frantic I was when I finally figured out that you had run away? When I thought you had given up on us? Why would you think that? What was I supposed to do? I don't know. I... I... Hoped that you would understand. Jamie, that night was perfect. And I wanted it to be enough. I wanted it to get us through the, the rest of our lives. I, I, I needed it to be enough. Well, you can't live in memories. I know that. I, ca I came here, and what did I think about? I thought about you and, and our night together and dancing and... You giving me that beautiful bracelet. When I did, I told you it was for strength and courage and love. I know. And you said you would never take it off. And I won't. But Jamie, I can be stronger here. And I can love you better from here. How? Marley, that's crazy. You're thinking about Vicky. Everything is falling apart. Do you know that? I left Bay City in the first place so nobody would have to go through the grief of the trial. I wanted to leave so that nobody would get hurt. I don't think that's possible. Marley, what do you want to do? I don't know. I'm trying to make a decision. Well, whatever you do decide, I'll be with you. I mean that. Jamie, I am not please. leaving you. No. I love you for coming here and being with me. But I can't take your life away from you. My life is with you. And what about, what about Stephen? Who's going to teach him to sail and to play baseball or, or teach him how to ride a bike or tie a tie? Jamie, you know what it's like to lose your father. And you could never do that to Stephen and still be happy. Vicky would bring him to us. And that wouldn't be enough, you know it. Jamie, this will not work. Marley, how am I supposed to live without you? You'll have a life. You'll, you'll have your life as a doctor and with your family, and you will... You'll know that you did the right thing. And... Someday you'll find somebody else. No. Jamie, you can't stay here. And I can't go back. Why not? You have a life there too, Marley. Why can't you face this thing directly? Do you want me to go to prison? <clears throat> Tony! What happened? What happened? She should have killed him, Bridget. Jake deserves to be dead. Oh, you don't mean that. I do mean that. I have never hated anybody more than I hate that man. I'm going to get cast. No, no, over. no. You're going to have a nervous breakdown. Bridget, I you have more reason now than I ever have to pull this thing off. All right. Now you turn around and you tell me something. Something's changed. And I want to know what it is. All you have to know is that my sister is not going to suffer again. <laughs> What about you, Victoria? What about you? Tonight. See, I knew it. I knew the super would see it our way. He is not doing you any favors. Who else would want this place? This is a great place, Matt. What do you mean? With a rotten past, which is the only reason I got him to lower the rent. Well, that's good. I'm glad someone's looking out after our money. <laughs> our money? Our money. Okay, your money. Your money. But if you choose to invest, you're investing in me, right? If I get involved, it will not be as a silent partner. Hey, Matt, buddy, if you choose to, to invest, then, then you call it anything okay, you like. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, just tell me how you see it. All right. 
We start off with sessions, you know, recording sessions. Well, nothing too big at first. We do jingles, radio spots, local commercials. They pay the bills. Mm -hmm. Then after a while, we'll work on my demo, and how that goes depends. You know, I don't know. We could go a number of ways, actually. Such as? What? Well, we could, we could keep the place as a private recording studio, or we could sell it off at a profit. Wait a minute, wait a minute. One question. What if your demo flops? All right, Matt. I don't know. That's a chance we're going to have to take, all right? I, I'm, I'm taking all the risks here. Matt, all you can lose is money, pal. That's all you can lose. You got plenty of it. If this thing doesn't work out, I don't have a whole lot of options. Stardom or nothing, right? I'm not just going to play somebody else's music in, in a piano lounge waiting for my big break in life. I'm not. This is a chance you take it. And the way I see it, this is a chance for both of us. How do you see it? I see it that you've got a lot of money and you've got a lot of time and you've got, you don't do anything with it. I go to school. You go to the right school with the right friends in the right clothes. And right after school, you go over to the health spa and then you go over to the, the country club. I mean, you're living life like a, like a middle-aged man. Why don't you stop making judgments on people? Then you, you might make some friends. I don't need friends. I need a backer, okay? And you need to do something in your life that your family's not that excited about. Like what, invest in you? I don't know. Just stir up your life, man. I, I do not like being called middle-aged. I didn't say that you'd like it. Look, my tape's right here. Listen to it. Give me a call. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna have? I'm gonna have a pile of messages from Iris. Very irate. You see, you see, I have it easy. When I'm not at the Odyssey, everything just falls apart on its own. Yes, why did you insist on, on driving over here with me and bringing me home? I am a gentleman. And you didn't want to work. That too. It's too cold for a dive. Besides, my only other project's an expedition to the Middle East. Excuse me? Yeah, I've been planning this one for a long time. You like the idea of being a hostage? I think I already am one. Oh, that was sweet. What were we talking about? Uh, we were discussing my next expedition. Oh. I vote in favor of tabling that discussion and taking up the, uh, the subject of what we're going to do on New Year's Eve. Um, I already made plans for us, I'm sorry. Well, I had to. It was Jamie. I mean, it's his benefit at, at Tops for, for the clinic. All right, fine. After that, what do you say we go back to that inn I found? Oh. Yes, we never really did take advantage of that place, did we? My sentiments, exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you. Oh, Molina, it's all right. It's all right. I'm, I'm glad to see you, honey. Uh... Listen, how, how would you like to go to the spa with me? I was just thinking of going over there and getting... Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. A and I would love to go to the spa with you. Is Amanda going? Um, no, no, she isn't, honey. She has a deadline. Uh, it'll just be the two of us. Sounds wonderful. Okay, I'll call Maurice and tell him we're on our way. Hmm. I'm trying to find out if a Gloria Norris filed a will. I see. Uh, could you tell me how I could find out his name? Okay. Thank you very much. What are you doing here? It's called. You were? Well, if the lawyers select a jury, then they're going to want to go to trial. The DA's first witness. Yes, that makes sense. You're the arresting officer. You know, as far as you're concerned, I'm always going to be the enemy. That's not it, Ryan. But the fact is, you're not going to help Marley's case, are you? I'm just doing my job. I care about Marley and Vicky. You know that. Have you seen Vicky? Not since before Christmas. How does she seem to you? I haven't seen her either. Wasn't she supposed to go to dinner with you all at the at the farm? Yeah, that was the plan, but uh, Stephen got sick. Yeah, I was supposed to see her, but she was at the doctor's with you. Do you have with the jury? Do you think you're going to win this case? I feel very confident that the men and the women of this jury can be fair and impartial. 
and that they want justice for Jacob Killen. Why did the judge adjourn until after the new year? We're not after blood. We just want the members of this jury to be able to give their full attention to the trial. Why hasn't Susan, your sister been here, Mrs. No McKinnon? comment. Is she avoiding the trial? Ignore them, Marley. Excuse me. Stop badgering my client. Well, let her talk, Counselor. You hear me? What, what do you think you're doing? Get out of my way. Does your mother know what you're doing? She'd be terribly ashamed of you if she knew. These sisters in silence may not be as close now as they once were. One twin seems to be missing. The question is, why? Next, Cap... Well, I trust you had a happy afternoon. We did. You look happy. Wouldn't have anything to do with the ring on Rachel's finger, would it? It might. I thought you were going to wait to give it to her. I changed my mind. So, does this mean you're officially engaged? Not officially. We made a few promises to each other about the future. Any talk about the past? No. Interesting. After the trial, when things settle down, we're going to talk about getting married. I suppose I should have expected this. Aren't you happy for me? Not really. Why? You have what you wanted. I don't trust you, Ken. One of these days, you're going to get an attack of guilty conscience and spill your guts. I'm not going to say anything. Well, you might not have to. If Jake wakes up, he's going to blab what he knows to anyone who'll listen. Now, take my word for it. Ratting on whoever shot him is going to come first. Fine. Then I'll go after me, just like he did before. Hey, cheer up. You might die. Oh, that's a very nice thing to say. That's what you're thinking, too, no. isn't it? Admit it. What I'm thinking is that we still have a lot to deal with here. There's Iris. What about the tapes that Jake made? What about that letter he got from the adoption agency? What if they find that? Uh, it's a very long shot now. The police have already been over his place with a fine-tooth comb. It's still not safe, Ken. How could you ask Rachel to marry you at a time like this? I love her. Well, I thought you couldn't live with a lie. I had to choose between two lies. One was about the past. The other is about the future. What is that supposed to mean? I love Rachel. To deny that, to walk away from her now, that would be a lie. I tried to do it once. It didn't work. So I'm going to live with our lie about the past. Because it's the only way that I can have the future that Rachel and I both want. You're looking at this as an all-or-nothing situation. There are other alternatives than prison or a life in exile. I am just trying to be realistic. Willie, I know the trial scares you. But I'll tell you what I've told everyone else. You are stronger than you know. Is that why I ran away? You panicked. Forget that. I know if you spoke from your heart to the jury, they would know that you're innocent. Jamie, I cannot tell them everything. Why not? They should know that Jake raped you. They should know everything. It is the only way. That's not what Cass thought. Cass wanted it to look like something different was going on with us. You can beat this. I know it. How? You could win the trial. Jake could come too and tell everyone who really shot him. There is a lot of room for hope here, Marley. But only if we go back. Because if we stay, we shut that door forever. The round one. Now, where does the round one go? Where'd you get it from? Bridget, he knows something's wrong. I, I know he does. Do you think Jamie could do it? Do you think he could stay away from Stephen forever? He loves that little boy. He'll do the right thing. Yeah, well, I thought Marley was going to do the right thing, and look what happened. What if they stay away? What if I lose both Marley and Jamie? Betty, you should be thinking about Stephen. What's going to happen to him when they put you in jail? I can't think about that right now. My dear, you've done everything you can for Marley. You've got to stop this. You know that district attorney? She never takes her eyes off you in the courtroom. I can't give up, Bridget. Well, I'm going to put Stephen to bed. I don't like him seeing 
You like this, so upset. Come on, Stephen. Come, go Come to on, bed, darling. Sweetheart. We're going to go, go to bed. Go get your jammies. Do I get that? No, I'll, I'll get it. All right, here we go, love. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Molly. Brian. I didn't mean to bother you, but uh, I thought I'd wait for Vicky. Ah, oh, you don't give up, do you? She's walking away from everyone, Marley. Even her family. Well, she's feeling very alone right now, but that's the way she keeps it together. If she would just let me see her, I could help. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Looks like you could use a friend too, huh? Oh, I sure could. You gotta believe that this is all gonna turn out right. You know that. It's what I keep telling myself. Marley? It's, it's really crazy how you and, and Vicky keep missing each other. You're going to have to set up an appointment or something. I, I, at least it's a good thing she got your message on the scanner. What? The uh, uh, LOC. How do you know about the LOC? Television. I, I watch a, a There's lot. There's no such thing as an LOC on TV. My partner and I made it up. Well, I'm, I guess Vicky told me about it, Ryan. I, I knew it. What? It's no use. The game's over. Vicky.